Before we jump into this week's video, make sure you jump over to flagfootballwithcoachd.com. I have everything you need to crush it as a complete coach. You can find my playbooks here. If you're looking for plays and wristbands, this is definitely a must. Then you have your complete coach package, my number one seller. A lot of coaches are asking me for situational plays, so my play bundles are here. Everything can come in 5v5, 6v6, or 7v7. If you're just looking for wristbands, you can find them here. Then you have my uh, play builder software. You can import all the plays you purchase from me and customize and build from scratch your entire playbook. And then of course, I have my equipment that I just launched, my clipboard that you see me use every single video. Then I just launched my cones and agility ladder here. Use it in every practice. If you want it all, you can grab the complete coach kit here. And then finally, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, click on work with coach D and I would love to work one-on-one -on -one with you. Make sure you subscribe to get 10% off everything instantly. I've got it all here for you. Everything you need to crush it as a complete coach. Now let's jump into this week's video. Everyone, this is Coach D. Today I'm gonna to walk you through a defense formation that I'm in love with. Uh, this is 5v5, but I'm using my coach's clipboard to map it out. If I was doing 6v6, I'd plan a middle linebacker about five, maybe six yards back, have them go backwards. But if I had 7v7, I would do a nice two, three, two, uh, pattern here that makes sure that I have full coverage but let me show you how I've mapped it out here on the field I've got my ball here line of scrimmage is here about three yards back I have two of my linebackers now these are my flag pullers they're able to go side to side they slow down the run they make sure that there's no short dumps or any of these screens they're able to move side to side here okay so those are three yards off the line of scrimmage and they go back about three yards so they're watching and they're scooting back making sure nothing short is right is past them so that's what they're doing okay and then they basically hand off to these guys this is where their zone i've got three and four here i just number them here these are my cornerbacks here all right so they have this entire zone but then they go back if I've got a fly going on, then this cornerback here is gonna follow that receiver back. So this person back here is ready, go, watching. If I've got a running, if I've got a, a wide receiver, then I might run with them, right? And I, I'm a big fan of turning in, right? Just in case, so that if they're not going for this, wide receiver that I'm covering, then I'm going to go after and I'm gonna to swarm to wherever the ball is going. So I'm big on that, you've seen that in videos. Then I've got this monster. This monster is backing up so that nothing, zero is behind them, okay? Nothing can be behind them. Now, if for some reason, let's say number three here is going to be rushing, they're rushing, then that means that this uh, monster safety is covering this side of the field so they might come over and right but again if I'm way over here I want to be turning in so that I can quickly adjust and swarm to the ball if necessary okay and then over here same exact thing I've got full coverage I want to make sure nothing's getting outside I know that my linebacker is going to come back about three yards but I'm seven yards off the line of scrimmage here that's where I line up seven yards off i've got 10 yards off the line of scrimmage here for my safety seven yards off the line of scrimmage just if i wanted to right if i wanted to have this person uh you know blitzing they absolutely can then they're seven yards off i've got three yards here so let's talk about who i should place at each position flag pullers okay not the fastest but they can pull flags they they are monster flag pullers okay they can quickly get in there boom every time anytime i do a gauntlet anytime i do the centipede any of those drills and they get those flags that's my person you can also use if you don't have the fastest person or you don't have the person who's the superstar or whatever these are great places where you can kind of stack them and all i tell them to do is get in the way okay look you may not be the fastest but if you can get in the way just get in the way get big get in the way then all of a sudden then i have the rest of my team and i'm yelling you know ball 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 or whatever you decide to say 
so that I could say the ball has passed the line of scrimmage, it's coming for me, I don't know what to do, ball, 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 you get everybody behind you, but you slow them down, okay? That's the linebacker position here. Again, if I had 6 v 6, I'd plant somebody here a little bit faster, a little bit more agile, a little bit more field awareness there. But uh, when I have a cornerback here, okay, cornerback, they've got some speed, they've got really great hands, usually a little bit taller if you can handle or they can jump, right? So my son can, can jump, so he's able to cover uh, even the, the tall receivers, he can handle it. So you can put that person back here, but they have good field awareness. They're not the best, but they've got pretty good field awareness and they're quick. So they can quickly turn around, right? Either way like this, again, I'm big on them turning in, but they can quickly adjust and nobody gets behind them, right? They can also quickly, right? But they've got those good hands and they're not gonna get burned, all right? Um, you also need, <laughs> if they do get burned, uh, help them emotionally, because usually they check out pretty quick. You know, it's a, it's a Monday morning quarterback. They get that memory. Okay, just move on. Next play, no big deal. Uh, and then this person is your speedster. Um, the, the field awareness is critical. Field awareness just means they can see the entire field. Okay, so they're not just gonna commit to one side right? They've got this kind of executive maturity where they can kind of see everything that's going on. They know that's a fake. They're not going that way. Okay. They started to see the, the, the quarterback is using their eyes to come this way every time and they keep going over this side. All right. So I'm cheating a little bit this way, but they're able to quickly maneuver, switch gears and go to wherever the ball is going. So that's kind of your captain, right? Uh, back there in, in that safety position. Again, if you had seven, uh, then I would pop two of these over here, right? Um, but if you're gonna have somebody blitz, make sure you don't have this huge hole over here. That's where you need your, your number five or whatever number you give them. You need them to be able to quickly adjust and watch for the, uh, the open side of that, that, uh, that backfield. But nothing gets behind them. Absolutely nothing is behind this person. This is 10 yards off seven yards off, three yards off. This person goes three yards back, but this is their zone. They're in charge of this entire area, okay? Don't put them too close in, right? Don't put them too tight um, because they need to also come over here. So if I've got a sweep, this linebacker has to be able to run all the way out here. So, you know, play around with it, adjust with it. But uh, that one right there is one of my favorite favorites. If you were going to blitz, uh, I like to have now just one blitzer and I just know they're going in. If you wanted to, you could come up with some codes where this person or this person could blitz and then they don't know which one is going to be blitzing. But either way, you're cutting off the, the quarterback strong side, right? So they're going to their weaker side every time, right? And that's, that's kind of a, a different philosophy. I've got that in a different video, but use that for your defense. Um, whenever I'm uh, coaching and I'm teaching a defense, make sure you're not talking too much, right? You're actually demonstrating on, out on the field. So get them out there. What I'm gonna be doing for my, uh, my practice is I'm gonna get my kids out here like this on the meet and greet, and then I'm gonna hand off to running backs, right? A line of running backs. I'm gonna hand off and I'm gonna start to identify who's the best, who's great at, at flag pulling, who's good at coverage, right? So we're gonna do the running back thing first, and then we're gonna do, all right, now we're gonna have a wide receiver here, testing out quarterback and wide receiver. Let's see who can cover, right? And so with different routes, the, the post, the fly, the slant, the, the corner route, the, the curl route, right? Ready, go. We're going to practice that, but I've got my defense out here and I'm switching them around so I can identify who fits where, right? Who fits where? And, and that helps me strategize and decide who's going to go into every position. Now, uh, for rotations, right? If I find that somebody's really good in this linebacker position, but they don't have that strong field awareness, I'm not gonna put them in the back. Even if they say, oh, can I please? No, I've made it very clear that I don't do that. I don't say you're gonna to get to play every single position. You are going to put, I'm gonna put you in places where you're strongest, right? And that's where you're gonna go. All right, this is Coach D. If you like what you see, you know what to do. Go ahead and uh, slam that like button and comment. You know I like to 
uh, respond, uh, share this, all that. Go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com. I've got all the flag equipment. I've got the plays, the playbooks. Uh, my complete coach package is ridiculous. It's got the practice schedules, the defense formations. Everything you need is right there. If you like the wristbands, you know where to grab them. And make sure you get your hands on this, baby. I use it every single week. I print my plays out just like this if I need to. I've got my wristbands and I can use my formations right here as well. I use this for formation. So anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Get some. Ready, go. Uh-oh. Rip. <laughs> yeah.